Okay guys, so I just got this House of CB corset in. I actually bought it off of the Nordstrom website because I have never bought anything from House of CB. I've only ever tried on, I'm trying to show you guys up close, tried on their dresses like in the store in LA. I've never ordered anything from them. I really just cannot tell if this is giving like cone boob from the side. I, it's really flattering. Like I love what it's doing to my stomach and everything. Um... I feel like this is like a good date night top though with like jean shorts. I was not jean shorts, but jeans. Like I was wearing this with jean shorts because I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear during the day in Vegas. Um, but I'm just cannot tell if it's giving like cone boob from the side. You know what I'm saying? Like right there, like why are they protruding out like that? Ugh. I really love the idea and I love it from the front, but I feel like from the side is kind of what's killing me right now. I Hello you guys and good morning. Welcome back to another little vlog. We are going to start our little vacay prep vlog. I'm going to Vegas next weekend and I have some things I need to do. We need to look really good in Vegas. Vegas is just, well, I like to look good all the time, but like you want to feel your best when you're on a trip. You want to feel the best of your outfits, how you feel, how you look. Like it just makes for a good trip. So we are going to start off by taking, I have like returns to Revolve because I tried um, a few different things. I tried an aloe onesie that I did not like on myself. I like the Skims romper way, way, way better. So I need to return that. I also tried this L-Space dress that I thought was gonna be cute for during the day there. It had like a little cutout and a slit up the side, but it just didn't fit me right. It was like big, but then tight in the wrong places. This is the top that I'm gonna return that I thought was gonna be cute during the day there. It's from House of CB. Really cute potential. It looked really cute from the front. It's a little corset style. But from the side, it was giving comb boobs. So that's going back. Oh, the UPS man is right there. Ooh. So, I also have a package supposed to be coming. Oh my god, this is it. I'm so excited. No, it's reversing. I have a package coming from um, Skims. It was my first time ever purchasing her bathing suit. So, I ordered a pink one. I'm excited to see the fit, the quality, all of it. Because they were actually pretty inexpensive. Um, and then I have... I don't even know if I have enough time to do this today. I have a Zara dress that I want to get hemmed really really cute it's like a sh it's supposed to crisscross around your neck but i actually did it like as a strapless and tied it around the top of my boobs oh yes that's it have lip filler appointment today i'm so excited it's almost been a year since the last time i went um i'm gonna get like a little half of a syringe i'm just gonna do it like in the my top lip mainly like in the corners and then maybe a little bit in the bottom but mainly in my top lip that's where i like it i might do a lip flip as well i don't know if my lip flip is totally gone um it might be it looks like it is but i don't want it to be like frozen or anything so i'm gonna ask her because i'm trying to think of when i got botox what month was that march march it's about to be may so i don't know i'll ask her we'll see that's nice for the top lip though to just like flip it up a little bit and then um i'm gonna go to the gym we need to be serious about cardio because we're about to be in a bathing suit um and then I'm going to tan too. I'm going to go in the tanning bed, which I don't. Nail me to the cross. I don't care. <laughs> I know it's absolutely horrible for you, but I need a little bit of a real tan before I go. Um, I just feel like it'll look really good. And then, um, and I go like occasionally to the tanning bed. I do. Sue me. Kill me. I know it's absolutely horrible for you. I do not. I've never, ever, ever put my face in the tanning bed. Fun fact, my first ever job was at a tanning salon when I was a senior in high school. Um, now I'm gonna drink one of these, but yeah, I'll just do, I'll just dabble in it when I like feel like I need like a real tan. It's just, also makes me feel a lot better in like the cold months when it's really dreary. It's like a little boost, a little boost. So let's go do that because we're running on not a lot of time. Okay, so I have just pulled up to my lip filler appointment. I'm gonna do a half a syringe. I haven't got my lips done in almost a year. I think it'll be a year in July, so I'm very, very excited. I used to go all the time, um, like when I first started getting my lips done. I think I first got my lips done when I was like 21 or 22. I'm now 27. And I used to get Juvederm Ultra Plus. I used to go all the time and then I had to go through the whole dissolving process because I had so much migrated filler like under here. My lips never looked out of hand though, I will say. Like I, my body definitely dissolves filler, Botox very fast. Everyone 
you know absorbs filler and everything differently I tend to absorb it very very fast so I feel like it never looked that crazy on me but I did have to start fresh and fully dissolve everything and it hurts so bad so I've definitely chilled out on like getting my lips done all the time um, I'm just in like the mood for a little zhuzh Vegas one week from today so I thought right now would be like the perfect time to get like a little plump before the summertime feel really good um, I'm super excited to go I love Las Vegas I literally can't wait I'm so excited so I'm gonna do just a half a syringe. I'm either gonna do Restylane Kiss or Juvederm Robella. I've done both and I really like both fillers. They're very natural feeling. I'm gonna do some in the corners on the top lip and then maybe some in the corners of the bottom lip. So I think that's the two areas. I'm obviously gonna ask her what she thinks, but I'm so excited. <sighs> Nothing better than a little bit of lip filler. It feels so good, it looks so good. I might ask her too about doing a lip flip because my last lip flip was over two months ago and that like tens it was back when I got Botox I think it was at the beginning of March it's now almost May so I think I might be due for lip flip I don't know I don't want it to be like frozen or weird so I'm gonna ask her if she thinks I should do it but that's also really really nice in conjunction with lip filler or just by itself if you don't want to get lip filler the lip flip is amazing for just slipping your upper lip up it's really really nice um so we're prepping for vacation i'm so excited um we have to do nails toes tan lots of gym and lots of cardio too because i'm about to be in a bathing suit next weekend and i want to feel good about myself i don't want to feel like uncomfortable i want to feel like taut and toned i don't want to feel fluffy i don't want to feel that way because i'm going to be in a bad mood when i put a bathing suit on and i don't feel good so i'm just gonna really 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 watch what i eat this week i really got to cut it down on the sweets and the bread because that's like my two weaknesses okay guys out of my appointment what do you guys think so she did a half a syringe of vobella which is a juvederm filler she did most of it honestly like on this side because my right corner of my lip like turns down is a lot thinner than the left side so she did a lot right here some right here and then some on both corners of my bottom lip so i think they look so good i'm so excited it's so crazy because like a half of syringe is really not a lot and i feel like i talk weird after it's like so ugly <laughs> But they look good very subtle nothing crazy. I don't look like anything different or anything, but I'm so happy I don't get any numbing cream or anything too like it does not hurt at all And if you get any sort of Botox or fillers or anything Make sure you are using Allie or see if your provider uses Allie. It's like a points program It used to be brilliant distinct brilliant distinctions um and what's nice is like every time you get a service, like every time I get Botox, I end up getting a $20 off for the next time. And this time I had a $20 off and I had a $75 off Juvederm filler collection um, that I got from an ad on Facebook. So make sure you're getting your discounts and your points and your money off. So I think they look really good. What do you guys think? Very like subtle, but still a little zhuzh a little something something so let's go return the house of B cb top that gave me cone boobs <laughs> no time for cone boobs around here um let's go return that i might get a drink or something i'm like starving i have like i literally have like 40 minutes so let's find the perfume return that house of cb and then go from there so i'll see you guys soon did my return that went by so fast like the half hour went by so fast i just got a little snafu so this is my favorite if you guys go to nordstrom go to the e-bar and get the sparkling pomegranate drink ask for extra ice it's so refreshing and good i love it and then i also got which i've never gotten from there before the tomato cucumber and mozzarella salad oh my god oh no i thought i'd have a fork <laughs> i'm so hungry right now i have not eaten since like that fair life protein shake i had but i'm not star i mean i'm hungry but i'm not like starving like i don't want a full heavy meal it's so weird in the winter i definitely crave worse food than i do in the summer when it's like summer and i'm sweating and i'm hot like i am right now i just want really really light meals which is good um and then i saw a little pepper packet but i figured out what the perfume was and i met the sweetest lady oh my god we were talking for like 10 minutes so she gave me two samples of two different perfumes actually her name's sylvia she's amazing um she was uh, funny so i tried um the first perfume the one that i couldn't figure out what it was it's the maze is it maison francis curtijon i don't know i took french in high school and maison means like house so I took, actually, I took French in high school and college, now that I think about it. I'm sweating right now. Um, but it's Gentle Fluidity is the name. 
of the perfume and it's gold version there's silver and gold and that is really out of all of that line that's the only perfume that has like a musky sweeter smell um and then i tried another perfume oh it smelled really good the top note of it is marshmallow which i love um i don't know if it's oriana or orlana i don't know but the gentle fluidity bomb so bomb i need to figure out how to get my hands on that i just don't want to buy it myself because I think like the regular size bottle is like 240. She said another good, if I want like a cheaper one, um, is the Valentina Born in Roma, I think. Kind of similar in smell, if you guys have smelled that one. But I want it, I just don't want to buy it myself. So this is like what I need my husband for. <laughs> like I just want to be, I'm such like, gift giving and receiving is my second love language and like I it's my dream to like text my boyfriend fiance husband sorry I'm like trying to figure this out right now how I'm gonna do this um it's my dream to text and be like babe I send him a picture of perfume and be like this perfume smells so good I'm obsessed with it not buy it and then like the next day like have him come home with it because vice versa if my husband was doing that for me I would be doing that for him too like if he was like oh I want this or I'm starving like this sounds so good like I would totally surprise him and do that because I love doing that for people I just want someone to do it for me which I'll find it I'm just being patient and I'm not settling because life's too short to settle and be in a mediocre relationship or secretly like not feel super happy down on the inside because you're scared of being alone or you're scared of being single let me tell you being single is a hell of a lot better than being like in a dead-end relationship i are not worth your time it's not worth your years and it's just a waste of time it really is so never settle prince charming is coming but until then work on yourself that's the mode i'm in right now i'm like work on myself get myself off the ground so I know how to take care of my <laughs> take care of myself before someone else comes in the picture and wants to take care of me because I'm a very traditional person very traditional values I grew up very traditional and I believe a man should provide and take care of his family but I also want to always have my own money and not have that ever held over my head like I do this for you so that means you have to stay with me like I don't ever want to be in that that's also another dead-end relationship is when you have to you have to stay with someone because you literally have like you can't go anywhere you don't know what to do so until until you meet Prince Charming put all of your energy into yourself and into your family and we will all be rewarded one day so anywho I'm glad I figured out the perfume and I met the sweetest lady. So if I do end up getting it, I want to purchase it from her for sure. But she gave me a little sample, so I'm definitely going to wear it in Vegas and see how I like it. I can't, like, eat properly after lip filler. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm really good, though. I'm picturing I'm on the Mediterranean Sea eating this right now. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. I'll see you for our next prep appointment. <laughs> Lighting looks real funky right now. What's going on? Hi guys, and welcome back to another day of vacation prep. So, we just did our little Target run. I feel like the things that lead up to going on a trip end up being more expensive than the actual trip. That's what's so mind-blowing to me. Between nails, toes, spray tan, Target, toiletry run, makeup, like outfits, like it's insane. But I wouldn't have it any other way because I love having new clothes on trips. There's nothing about bringing tags with clothes tags with clothes clothes with tags on them on a trip like there's just nothing like that it's just fresh it's new it's fun so i had to go get some toiletries so also you guys it's been three days exactly since my filler so i did the half a syringe in my lips and they look really good they're not anything crazy swollen i never had any bruising with them i'm pretty good with bruising i never really have a bruise and if i do have a bruise i can tell right away like it'll be red and irritated i don't have any bruises they ended up looking very good, which I'm not surprised because they've never looked bad, but I almost wish I did it closer to the trip instead of a week out because 
I like how they look right now. And they're still in the swollen stage. I want them to stay swollen. It's so rude. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with the snacks that I got. Snyder's Butter Snaps. I had these like last week and I was like, I haven't bought those in so long. I need to get them. I got these because they were out of fruit roll-ups because I think everyone bought them because I want to try that thing. You put this in the freezer with vanilla they did mango ice cream but i'm gonna do vanilla ice cream and wrap it up and then it turns crunchy on the outside i want to try it so bad i saw it all over tiktok i want to try that snack really really bad but they were all out of the single packs of these so i got this which is fine because i love fruit by the foot that's my favorite flavor in gushers they'll get eaten at my house so it's it's okay and then i got luna mashups these are my favorite one of my favorite protein bars because I like those Simply Protein, which I already had one of those today, so I'm not going to have one of these today. But the Luna Mashups Lemon Zest and Blueberry, these are so delicious. Just trust me. They're so good. Even if you're not a big lemon blueberry person, they're really good. I got another one of these because I've been tossing them after I've been using them. Like, it's just such a, it's just such a thing. So I'm just like, I'll just go buy a new pack. I don't even care at this point. Um, shaving cream for home. Two under eye patches for puffiness alcohol just makes you puffy it makes you bloated it makes you gross the eye patches like need all the help you can get when you're a little bit um tired and puffy and hungover in vegas which i'm hoping i won't get hungover last time i honestly wasn't hungover i was just so tired because i only had two drinks both nights so i feel like that's plenty skin to mint raspberry rain uh mini shaving cream dove deep moisture it's literally the matching of my bar soap so I just get the liquid because it's easier instead of transforming a wet bar of soap home. I just leave it there. Um, and then I got, I like having these, these Benadryl allergies, especially with my allergies, but I've been taking Zizol every day, but this is like good for an emergency or like if you need to go to bed at 7 p.m., <laughs> these will do the job. And then I got these toothbrushes, which I've never gotten them before. They're from the brand Smartly. I usually get, I don't know if they're Colgate, but they're only 99 cents for two. I love the colors of them. And I got them just so I can, I'm not gonna bring my toothbrush. I'm just gonna bring this one. Um, instead of bringing like a wet toothbrush. And it's like one less thing I have to think about. Did I tell you guys everything? Yeah, that's it. Um, it's one less thing to think about when you're packing, when you just have a fresh one that's like already packed, you know? Try to make it as easy as possible. So that was my little Target toiletry run. Um, I just tanned, so I did 13 minutes. I don't put my face, my neck, and I actually don't put my arms. I literally lay like this. Um, Cause I kind of just want, like it's more the bottom half of my body. This I will jazz up with self tanner and everything. But when you're in a bathing suit, it's like you want like your legs, like under, like your butt, even though I have like the white little butt marks underneath. Um, but that was my target run. And then now I just got my Chipotle. I'm starving right now. It's 120. So I am actually going to take a couple bites and then we're going to drive on over to Staples, which the Staples near me didn't have these services, which is so annoying. But the Staples farther away, which is fine because I have to go out that way for work anyway. They, um... I'm gonna go get T. I just lost train of thought. I was thinking about something else. Um, I'm gonna go get the TSA pre check. Um, it's only $79 for five years. And you basically fill out an application. You bring a license and a passport or like a birth certificate. You get some fingerprints done. I think they take a picture of you and they give you a number and that's TSA pre-check. So when you go to the airport, you're in a different security line, which is usually a lot faster. And I think that you don't have to take, you still have to put your bag through the little thing but i don't think that you have to take your shoes or your jacket off and you're in a much shorter line usually than the regular security line so they just make sure that you're not like a serial killer basically on the application um so so um we're gonna go do that i'm really excited about that because it lasts for five years five not ten and i filled out the application i had my old passport well not my old passport i have my passport but it literally just expired that's next on my list to redo my passport and i'm really excited i've like thought about getting it and then my friend brianna got it and we're going to vegas this weekend she's like you should do it, it like literally she got her tsa number in literally a day it says on the website like seven to ten days some at 60 days she got hers literally 24 hours after but she had an appointment i don't have an appointment so i have an hour of time to kill before work so I'm hoping in that hour I can go and do that. But let me take a few bites. Um, by the way, you guys, I got, so at Chipotle, I get burrito bowls, but I haven't gotten meat from there in like two years. Three, like I don't get meat there. I usually get the vegetable um, because my stomach had gotten torn up from it a few times, more than once. So 
there's like I feel like this is gonna be messy like you know when you just know something's gonna get all over you and I'm wearing this light blue um so I'm trying to be careful but I tried their chicken al pastor which I tried it because I kept seeing I kept seeing the commercials for it and I was like I need to try that like I need to try it it says it's like spicy but sweet which is my two favorite combination like that's my two favorite literally my two favorite things like my favorite combination mm. and you guys it's really good and I'm not a meat eater from Chipotle so my Chipotle order is I get double white rice today I only got like a regular scoop of black beans usually I'll get two um, and then I get the chicken al pastor now or I'll do veggie bowl I get pico de gallo, I get corn salsa, and then I get extra sour cream cheese and extra lettuce. So, I literally walked in, there was, I was walking, I didn't have an appointment, there was two appointments in front of me, but they took maybe like three to five minutes max. And all you did was you brought two forms of documentation. I brought my driver's license and my passport, which just expired. If it is expired, it has to be expired within the 12 months. Um, but mine just expired in February, which is next on my list. I need to renew that next. Um, but yeah, so I brought those two things. I did fingerprints of my thumbs on my fingers. I put in my information. I paid the $78 and then they email me with the number. So I add it to any existing flights that I've already purchased. I have to add it to, or I add it into my airline profile so that every time I am flying, it'll automatically be in there and it'll print on my boarding pass TSA pre-check. So you don't go to the regular security line, you go to the TSA pre-check lines, which is faster. So I'm so excited. Five years too. It doesn't expire for five years. $78. What's 78 divided by five? I don't know. Don't ask me. But I think that's very worth it. So there's an Ulta across the street because I have time now. I thought it was going to take longer. I set aside an hour because I didn't know how long it was going to take um, because uh, appointments had priority over walk-ins. And there's an Ulta right here. I have an extra half hour now to burn. And I'm going to go in there and get to my eyebrow pencil that they're out of at Target. It's, excuse me, the, my tummy kind of hurts. It's Chipotle for you. The NYX micro brow pencil in the color Espresso. Why is that zipped so high? Um, so I'm going to do that. It's like misting outside right now. Like that is so ugly. So heinous. I'm proud of myself for being productive on a day like this because I hate this weather. It makes me very unproductive. So we're going to go into Ulta and only buy that. Nothing else. Nothing else. I just had to go to the gas station and get a ginger ale. My tummy. My tummy hurts. This is why I didn't get meat from Chipotle for like literally like three years. Four years. Oh. Nothing but a little ginger ale. Cannot fix. Okay guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna do a little treadmill at home workout. <gasps> Look at the little ab poking through. You guys see it? <gasps> Look at that. Oh yeah, we're into it. Okay, so I have on my little Beyond Yoga leggings. These are so old, you guys. I bought these from New Marcus like years ago, probably like five years ago, but they are the rib material, which I really like. They're very, very flattering, like on the butt area, I feel like. Then I just have on a Flow Y bra from Lululemon. This has a print on it, but you can't really tell. Um, so I'm kind of mismatched, but whatever. We're going to do 30 minutes on the treadmill, 12 incline, 3 speed. And we're going to get toned and get the fluff. The fluff is slowly fading away. I swear to God, just paying attention to what you eat makes the biggest difference. Because sometimes I just go off the rails with my eating. Like, I just don't care. But when I really pay attention to it, it really, really makes a difference. Especially, like, in the stomach area. But let's go do that. <laughs> getting hot 21 minutes and nine minutes left I'll show you guys really quick the skim swim that i am unfortunately returning i really love the color the color is to die for but the bottoms just don't work for me and i don't want to have like a mismatch set so i love the triangle top i got a size medium fits good the bottoms are huge though this was a small and this was the back like compared to my hand the just high rise kind of gave me like a pancake ass which i just don't want like i want a cute little butt and i think maybe if you have like oh, a really long butt or like a long butt crack maybe it'll work but do you guys see how like long it is in the back like that's just too long just didn't fit me right so I'm kind of bummed because I love the color I love the top it's a really just you know normal triangle tank but I just couldn't triangle tank triangle top but I just 
the bottoms just didn't work for me. So I'm bummed. I got the small on the bottoms and a medium in the bottoms. Definitely needed the small. The medium was too baggy, but they were just like too long in that area. But these have great coverage. Damn. Still in drive. <laughs> well, I was just still in drive. That's really scary. I just pulled up to the nail salon. I feel so puffy right now. Um, thank God I live like eight minutes away because I was just in the shower. My appointment's at 9.30. I was in the shower at like nine o'clock. So I just took a quick body shower, did my skincare. My hair is on its third day, but it honestly doesn't look that bad. Um, threw on something comfortable. I like to wear the Brainy Melville like fold over yoga pants because they super flare out at the bottom, which is really nice like to um, pull up on the leg instead of like trying to pull up leggings. You know what I'm talking about when they do the pedicure? Um, brought my own color. I always have always brought my own toe color, like my pedicure color. I just like my colors and they're fresh and I know they're not like crusty or mixed with other colors you just never know or they might not have your color so I've always brought my own toe color and when I used to do gel polish I always brought my own gel polish oh the song just came on but I just bought my favorite dip color because they were out of it for like two times when I had gotten my nails done I'm like oh no 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 no, no. I'm gonna have to bring my own so it's the brand chisel and it's 101 it's what I have on my nails right now it's more of like a whitey, it's like a whitish pink, um, but not totally white, but not totally pink. Okay, it's 9.30, so I gotta go in. I'll see you guys after, and yes, nails and toes will feel real good after that. Okay, I think this is literally my favorite part of the packing process, is packing my makeup. I don't know why, it's just so satisfying to me. So I have all of my face products down here, and then I'm gonna start putting in my new products that I'm so excited to use. I also have these little under eye patches with my little hair clips clipped to it, Benadryl just in case. So I'm gonna put my new products in there, which is my Givenchy powder. And then this, I cannot wait to use it. Like, can you even believe how beautiful this packaging is? I can't. It doesn't get much cuter than that, you guys. I'm gonna do a squinch face. Look how squinched up face. You're so handsome, lovey. Hi, lovey buns. Guys, I picked up this bronzer yesterday from Target. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I got the shade... Wait. Oh, it is the right way. I don't know why I was thinking it wasn't. Um, I got the shade Endless Summer. There was a ton of different shades. I was kind of having trouble figuring out which shade, but this looked the most similar to other bronzers that I use. Um, and you guys, first off, I love how it looks. This smell is the best smelling makeup product I think I've ever smelled. I'm not kidding. It smells like Hawaiian Tropic, um, suntan oil. Like, it smells so delicious. So, I'm excited to try this. There's a little bit of a sheen to it, which is nice, but I was looking at swatches online because there's like a ton of different shades and Endless Summer was pretty popular and it was pretty similar to the bronzers I use now, which is, you know, Casino by Le by, I also said by Laguna Casino by NARS. I use the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced or I'll use some Hoola. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this.